Plan A is designed to be the world's first male birth control that's long acting and reversible on demand. And that's really important because going back, when you look at what is the, what is the problem right, that exists, it's that we live in a world that has 50% of all pregnancies being unplanned, like this huge disparity in reproductive health. The reality is that unfortunately, the burden right now completely rests on women. But in order for us to really progress as a society that quantum leap forward, it's helping people to be able to make a very basic decision, but a pivotal decision in their life, which is when and if to have a child. And then that's when I started to realize that half all pregnancies are unplanned because we've ignored half the entire population when it comes to birth control, right? Men have zero options. And so then it's okay. Well, then you say, well, there's methods for women. Well, clearly they aren't working. The medical community has unfortunately and undoubtedly uh, discriminated against women. That is, that is completely true. It's, it's an absolute fact that if many forms of female birth control <clears throat> came to market today, uh, they would likely not get approved. That's, that is, that's not my opinion. That's a, a well-stated fact. At the same time, I think it's incredibly important to recognize the progression of female birth control and what it's done uh, for, the, for the world. Now it's about a revolution in birth control, raising the standard and allowing all people to be able to participate, men and women. The medical community has unfortunately and undoubtedly uh, discriminated against women. That is, that is completely true. And that's historically true. Where we are today is recognizing that <clears throat> the, uh, the way that the FDA and other uh, regulatory bodies uh, operate, such as with the CE mark uh, for medical devices in Europe, <clears throat> is it's a, it's a risk-based analysis. And so because no other method existed for birth control previously, they said, we need something because the risk of an unplanned pregnancy is so great. We are very fortunately at a place of evolution uh, in birth control where <clears throat> because there's options that exist, these regulatory bodies are saying, we're not going to accept the same level of side effect profile. Now, that is true for female birth control. In male birth control, that is not just evolutionary, it's revolutionary. It's a whole new category that exists, which is how do we create something that truly meets the demands of people, which is I want something that works. <clears throat> I want it to stop working when I want it to stop working. And I don't want it to cause me to have weight gain, acne, depression. And that's really what allows us to step forward and see the mass adoption that allows us to reduce the unplanned pregnancies. This is where I think <clears throat> it's a really cute talking point for people to say, you know what? Women have suffered from female birth control. Uh, they've, they've gone through all these things. So we're going to make men suffer too. And it's like, yeah, that's it's nice in theory, but what happens if we just don't make anybody suffer? What happens if we progress as a society? And that's really what allows us to see the uh, reduction in unplanned pregnancies, which is a burden that women carry. Because this male birth control is the most feminist, the most positive thing that we can do to create gender equality. The, the way that plan A works <laughs> is, and actually I have some right here. All right, so you have, you got some plan A. And so the way that it works, see, it's a nice hydrogel. Now, the magic of it that's so amazing from a, uh, from a properties perspective is that it goes in as this nice liquid, right? But as soon as it gets into the vas deferens and it only takes a little bit, um, it goes in and then immediately forms into this flexible filter that's microscopically sized to allow everything that's smaller than three nanometers or, uh, to go through. And can you guess what's small, what's bigger than three? Sperm. But everything else can go through. Uh, and so it's designed to allow all the fluids to pass through. So you don't get a back pressure that's often, uh, the, or that's always the case with the vasectomy. You're able to allow all of the juice, but none of the seed. Will men use this? Heck yes. Yes, men are desperately seeking this. We literally have somebody that's there, all they do, their entire job is responding to all of the emails 
and messages that come through. We have over 50,000 people who've signed up on the interest list who've said, hey, when can I get this? How soon can I get this? To answer your question around, will women trust men? Trust in a relationship is so important. And the reality is, is that plan A is for couples, right? It's for people who are making that decision together. Now, uh, this is something that's uh, important to realize because hey, if you don't trust them, and this is, this is just my, my fatherly advice to any woman out there, if you don't trust a man who says, hey, I've got plan A, then use a condom, right? Like, then you, like, it's simple as that. From insurance data, we saw a huge uptick in men who uh, are young men and men who don't, who've never had children getting vasectomies. That's for the first time ever. Traditionally, it, men who are getting vasectomies are in that 45 year old range who've said, I've had three kids, I'm done, right? <clears throat> I'm for sure done. This now, men in their 20s at a rate higher than ever before are saying, I, I can't like afford uh, and my partner can't afford uh, physically or uh, economically or uh, just in anything to have a child right now. We want, we'd rather have no child than have an unplanned pregnancy. And that's a really strong statement for someone to make. There are uh, different forms of male birth control that are being developed. And I think that's really important. Uh, because men uh, and women deserve a marketplace of solutions. And so our focus is how can we rise the tide so that all ships can rise, so that all people can benefit.